Jake Paul and Tana Mojo just made a huge announcement, and it's not what you think. We'll tell you what's going on and why Jake says he's responsible for Alyssa Violet and Faze Banks' breakup. I'm Kelsey Banis, and you're watching The Daily Report. But before I dive into that madness, let's take a quick moment to hear from our friend Brent Rivera, who's here to dish on his Friday feels. Kelsey, you are right. I am so deep in my Friday feels right now because it's the holiday season and 2019 is almost over. But the good news is, is that Spotify rap just came out and it inspired me to make this Friday feels playlist for you guys all about my rap. Spotify's rap is this epic breakdown of what your most played songs, artists, genres, and podcasts were for the past year. And yo, it's a trip. This year, I streamed 49,000 minutes. That's like 816 hours of streaming. Who beat that out there? I wanna know. Comment down below and let me know how many minutes you streamed this last year. Let me share a little bit of what jams popped up the most for me on my Spotify. Let me pull it out. Motivation by Normani was one of my top stream songs of the year according to my rapt. I don't know what it is about this song, but it literally gets me going every time. But I love all kinds of music. So my Spotify rapt also has jams by Lil Tecca, Saweetie, Bass Nectar, and Thomas Rhett. Talk about variety, wow. If you guys wanna get on my musical level and hear my top 100 songs of the year from my rapt, go listen to my Friday Feels playlist only on Spotify. I promise it will make your holiday party lit. And with that, I'm gonna keep vibing to this. Kelsey, back to you. Oh, okay, Brent, yes. I love those songs, and I'm definitely gonna check out Brent's playlist only on Spotify, and can't wait to look at my Spotify rap to see my top songs of the year. Ooh. That's gonna be fun. Okay, but first, I gotta unpack all that's happening with Jake and Tana. It's been five months since Jake Paul and Tana Mojo were joined in holy clout trimony at their half a million dollar Las Vegas wedding. Casual. <laughs> and now that the wedding has come and gone, Jake and Tana are finally ready to have a baby together. And by baby, I mean an MTV show. <laughs> gotcha. They both teased a quote huge announcement on their stories using the hashtag Jana's Big Announcement. And in now deleted posts, Jake and Tana took to Instagram to announce their big announcement. Jake wrote quote, fired by Disney, hired by MTV. Who's ready for the Pauls to have a show? While Tana posted photos from the set of the show and wrote quote, the Pauls coming to a television near you. Never did I think I'd bag two MTV shows, one digital and one linear. Thank you for creating this world for me. More to come. See you on TV. The question mark there. The question mark. Okay, I'm doing some investigating, but like, why is it deleted? What does this all mean? But it's not going to be a reality show that's like Tana Turns 21. This show is going to follow the same format of a current show on MTV called Ridiculousness, where they review crazy stunt videos gone wrong and talk about them. Wow, that's just like Jake Paul's videos. <laughs> it's a good thing he's married to someone with a connection to MTV so he could land a gig so close to what he does, right? Well, now some Tana fans are getting mad because they believe that Jake has been using her for her MTV connects. I mean, we all know the relationship started as clout, and as it grew, Tana seemed to get invested while Jake wanted to keep it open and this whole storyline kind of took over her reality show. But now that they have an MTV show together and he's the host, fans are a little skeptical of his intentions. It's hard to say what's even going on with the relationship as Tana is taking a break from social media for her mental health, while Jake is gearing up to launch a song today about his ex-girlfriend Alyssa Violet. He also admitted, quote, I'm the reason Banks and Alyssa broke up, which I can't imagine is good for Tana's mental health either, but also he's the reason? What? In a video posted this week titled, quote, The Truth About Alyssa Violet, Jake talks about his new song and the inspiration for it, which we know is Alyssa, but he tried to be coy saying he had just gotten out of a relationship and then he goes on to say, quote, In the relationship that I just got out of and previous ones I've been in, the girls would always have like too much pride and like their egos would be too big. I try to always be the one in the relationship that didn't have as big of an ego or as much pride. Uh, yeah, sure, let's, let's go with that. Jake then broke down his lyrics, telling us things we always knew about his relationship with Alyssa, and no follow-up on the claim about him being the reason she broke up with Faze Banks. Also, no real word from Tana either and how she feels about all this. But we wanna know what you think. Do you think Jake is using Tana? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, don't forget to subscribe to Awesomeness TV and the Awesomeness TV Daily Report channel. I'm Kelsey Banis, and that question mark and the deleted post, I gotta investigate. <laughs>